You didn't let me get my moment, so I want to say my name is Cuddy Jata Diallo, and I'm graduating today. Hey, I don't like yes. you snatched the mic out of my head, so today is going to be all about me. Stick around, and I'll let you know why she did this, in my opinion. Hey, it's a Sister Roland. All I need is a few minutes. So if you saw the clip, that was a clip from a graduation ceremony from LaGuardia Community College in Queens, New York. And this young lady by the name of Hadia Iman Diallo, I believe, some places I see Johnson, but whatever. So she was at her college graduation and it seems that they let the graduates say their name you know usually in other graduations you you put your name on this um card and then the person there's a person that announces your name but i guess this is how they do it at uh, this college probably gonna change it up but that that's how it was done so this young lady decided to show who she is and who she is can be seen as disrespectful, rebellious. Some people see her as a hero. Some people may say she has decorum. Definitely no decorum. Don't know. This was not the appropriate place for something like that because it's not all about you. All those other, just as you worked hard, those other people that was in line worked hard also. So definitely selfish because at that time she just she was just thinking about herself. And this is one of the reasons why I believe she acted the way she acted. This is how she is. But this was like maybe the trigger because this is what she said. I didn't have anyone to come to my graduation, so so do you hear how soft-spoken she is you can barely hear what she said as loud as she was when she yanked the mic from the lady she was, she's telling us that oh you know nobody showed up to her graduation and she tried to play it off like oh well but you can see the hurt in her face so she probably I don't know whoever was supposed to come she texted them or they texted her, letting her know that they won't be there. So, you know, she has a following. So she's letting her followers know that, hey, the nobody showed up to my graduation because people with some, some type of following, when something happens to them and they don't have anybody in their immediate circle to comfort them, what some of them do, they go run to social media. And of course, you're going to find some, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that, but we're here for you. Go live or do something. Um, it's okay. Those people didn't probably, didn't need to, do, you know, they're going to have somebody that say some type of those rhetoric to them to make them feel better. But I guess that didn't work or maybe she didn't get um, enough people to say that and she didn't get her way. The fact that nobody showed up for her because you, we know when we graduate, we have put in the work. We want our family to come and do this for us. Now granted, some of us, that's too much. But some of us don't mind a family member doing all of that for us because we worked hard. But whether they, you know, act that way, falling all over the place, but when our name is called, we, you know, want our family, to, even if it's one, two, a whole crowd, a whole group of them, to scream for us and clap and do the most or do a little bit or whatever it is. But she knew that when they call her name or when she says her, says her name in the way they did it, 
nobody was gonna say who she didn't have nobody that's gonna greet her with flowers and balloons she had nobody so something like that if you have an ego like this young lady seems to have like a big ego that is gonna hurt your ego and because I didn't get my way I thought these people was gonna show up um, I thought these people were gonna show up for me I thought my family was gonna show up for me my friends were gonna show up for me but they didn't so now I'm gonna get my way I am gonna be vindicated she yanked the mic from the lady saying that oh oh she was doing this to all the black people she don't want to be that one that you know call out stuff like that and then uh, if you go look it up there are people that said no that's not what happened because I'm the same color as her that didn't happen to me and then people were giving <laughs> people were sending out videos showing no that's not the truth now if you go to her page it's private now thank goodness I had already downloaded some stuff child please so she privated her account I thought that's what you wanted because she was doing all this because she always wanted to go viral but she thought she was gonna go viral on her song but this is how she went viral she always dancing and doing stuff she posted this where she said she was gonna post her song every day tell it went with it goes viral but she went viral for something else and usually when you when you graduate if your family or friends came you know they take you out to eat or they have some some people have surprise parties for their um, family members but she had nothing and then she posted on her story she posted this on her story asking who want to go to graduation brunch she's doing something public next weekend but it's only for close friends sweetie you ain't got no friends you ain't got no family members you on the internet asking who wants to come to your graduation brunch you having a party why you got no friends well we could all we could make a lot of assumptions why she doesn't have friends right from the behavior that she displayed at this graduation so no wonder why you act like that you don't have nobody for you to post this on your story because you know she's getting a lot of traffic now now i always say when you go viral you know you should always have something you should um, monetize yes she says she was going to drop merch and stuff like that but you why you don't have anybody in your immediate circle yes nobody came to your graduation maybe it was an inconvenient time they couldn't get off of work and stuff like that but afterward they're going to make it up to you if that's your people that's your family they're going to make it up to you that's probably when you're going to get a surprise party that's when they're going to take you out to whatever restaurant you want to go because they have to make it up to you because they wasn't there for you but for you for her to be reaching out to the public to social media girl you got nobody now her following did increase of course you know when you go viral your follower did increase but then she has a lot of people championing her as some type of hero you know saluting her because why because you know she had said this trigger word you know this white woman it was doing this to these black people and many people can relate that you know at a graduation at a job or at some type of event in their life in their community uh, they have encountered a white person that treated them differently from other people other you know colors of people you know that talked to them the way they didn't like the way they talked to them or whatever they did something that made them feel some type of way and most of the time some of those people may didn't have a chance to say something didn't have a chance to do anything because they felt powerless but now, wow, this white lady tried her and then she did all of that. That's my hero because they couldn't do it. You know, they didn't have a chance to do that. So they kind of live in vicariously through this young lady because she did it. Wow, I can look up to her. She is my hero because, you know, nowadays the vilest of behavior, those are exalted. Those go viral those are the people that are looked up to now are there um, some passive aggressive white people 
Hispanic people, Asian people that may have some type of implicit biases against, you know, certain black people. Yes, they are. But what about the black people that have implicit biases against their own people, you know, and are passive aggressive against their own people? But those stuff people don't record. Those stuff don't go viral. You know, it's the um, race, you know, the dividing of races, but particularly the race war, excuse me, the race war against the blacks and the whites. But nobody talks about when you encounter a black person in charge and they give you hell. They try to do everything they can to destroy you. They block you. They don't help you. Sometimes I go in certain places, I see it's a black person in charge. Mm. I got to pray hard because I don't know what type of person you are, but those stuff won't go out when you're a black person that, you know, are rude to you or do stuff, try to um, <laughs> lie on you, try to harass you. Nobody records that because things like that don't go viral. When when we are able to I have an encounter with this person, even though they are not the same color as me, I record it and I let social media know, do the same as your people too, because nobody talks about the black and brown prejudices that we have against each other. But that's like a totally different video. Okay, so what this young lady did, her behavior was disgusting. Anybody that uh, approves of this, I question your integrity, your morals, your values, your character. For you to condone something like this, it's ridiculous because this was that day was not only about her. That was about all those people that was in that line. Some people work. They went to school. They worked. They had kids. They were uh, uh, they 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 were working two three jobs. They went to school. They have kids. They were taking care of. They went to school. They have kids and a family and a husband. They have a sick mother. They went through all kind of stuff, and then you stole that moment from them. You're selfish. You're very selfish. And anybody that approves of it, you're selfish too. I don't care if you had an encounter with some person that was not the same color as you, you didn't have a chance to do it. This is something you wanted to do. You wanted to say something back. You wanted to get them back. You, you didn't have a chance to do it. Now you are applauding this behavior from this young lady. This is the type of world we're living in. Anyway, that's all I have to say on this situation. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.